Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We're back with another episode of Susquehanna River Valley by Nitro Dead. And uh, we've advanced time one more day here into uh, day four, mid spring. We planted our uh, soybeans last episode, and I think we also did a uh, soybean contract now that I'm thinking about it. And so we do have cows on this uh, series, and so I am trying to make sure we don't forget about said cows. And so each morning I'm going to be jumping on here and cleaning up the cow pen and giving them a little bit of this uh, total mixed ration. And so we're definitely making progress here. In fact, if we bring up our animal menu here, uh, we're doing pretty good. We've got 20 cows here, and uh, we've got some of them are starting to get pregnant here, so that's awesome. Means we may actually see some milk here in the next year or so. And uh, we've got a cleanliness uh, cleanup done here, so that should balance itself back out. And then we also just always need to remember to hit this water while we're in here. I may have mentioned it in the previous episode, but I absolutely love these wire gates. I think they're uh, really cool. You don't uh, see that on too many maps. It's something that stood out for me. It's a little bit different than uh, uh, the normal gates that you see. And this is uh, the style of gate that I'm actually used to. We used to have a gate like this on a farm that I was in in um, Minnesota, where it was literally just some wire that you would undo and walk through. All right, well, with the uh, cows fed here, let's uh, get the time moving a little bit and take a quick look at our stats here. Uh, we've got uh, the two fields down here are starting to grow. We've got uh, field 12 up here. Looks like it hit a stage of uh, growth here. It's no longer just implanted. And so we really just need to get the corn in here in field 134. If we take a quick look at the seasons menu, though, we're not quite there. Uh, corn's looking for a 54 degree temperature here. We're at 52. We could probably put it in the ground now. But uh, if I just look at this, I think we've got plenty of time. And I'd honestly like our crops to be a little bit staggered for once. And so I think we're going to wait one more day here to put the corn in. And uh, if we check our contracts here real quick, I don't see anything super close for cultivating. I guess we've got uh, field nine here needs to be cultivated. Uh, we could probably jump over and do that. Let's see, where is field nine? Field nine's right up here uh, by this other farm. That might be a good job for us to do here today. So let's go ahead and just grab that. It's a pretty small contract. It'll give us uh, one more thing to do here. I'm kind of trying to grab just one small contract a day to uh, keep us in the positive uh, from a financial perspective. And I think since we've got the bigger tractor here all hooked up to the planter, I don't really want to uh, monkey with disconnecting that. We're going to take the... 8950 out here for a spin and kind of put that to work since the only thing we've gotten to do with this so far is use it on the um, little tiny cedar. I'd like to put this thing to work a little bit and it should be more than capable of pulling this uh, tillage tool and so we're gonna give that a shot and if I recall that Field 9 was right up here, uh, kind of next to this other farm uh, that we're neighbored next to. And so we're going to head on up here and see if we can find it. Besides, this 8950 is just uh, too clean still. The rest of our equipment has gotten pretty dirty here so far, so we need to go put this tractor to work. Since we don't have a lot of actual work that needs to get done today on the uh, mid-spring day four here, this is kind of a filler day, we're going to leave the time cranked up to 15x for the time being and uh, just see if we can go knock this field out in uh, that amount of time. I don't think it's going to take us but a few minutes because it's a pretty tiny little field. And so we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. It'll give us a chance to see a little bit of uh, change in daylight over the course of the day. Oh, I almost uh, 
ran right into one of these wire fences, though. That'll be the uh, small drawback, I guess, is that they're a little bit hard to see. And then uh, that's quite the turn to get out of the driveway here. But uh, that's okay. Um, we don't have cows that are kind of wandering around in that area, so I don't really see a need to uh, put that fence back up together just now. We'll be running back up to the farm here in just a few minutes. Now, I think it was field 9 that we're going to do, so we're going to turn right at this intersection. We do have to uh, be cognizant of traffic. There are quite a few cars that uh, have been coming down these roads, and they don't stop for anything, so that is my only concern uh, on this map with driving down some of these roads. Now, I think Field 9 is coming up here on our left. I'm just not sure how to get in there. I guess this is one of those fences. Yeah, I think we can probably squeeze in here. So we'll just open this up. And I'm just realizing now Field 9 is on the side of a pretty steep hill here. So that could get... Uh, interesting for sure um let's drive up to the top of it here before we uh get going wow i'm not even getting nine miles an hour going up this hill with the uh tillage tool folded up and not in the ground this is gonna be a uh, an interesting field to do tillage on we may regret not bringing bringing the uh larger tractor up here but we'll sort it out that's for sure and so we're going to start up here on the top and uh, take a headland off and see what happens. I'm probably going to regret not heading down this way. Because uh, I think this slope over here is a little bit more gradual. So it might make more sense for me to try and come up the hill on my uh, right here. And go down, you know, where we came up by the uh, road there. So I think what I'm going to do is take a double headland off here. So I'm just going to turn right back around here and take a second pass off on this headland. And that's going to leave me in the right spot to uh, head down that steeper part of the hill. But, uh, yeah, this is uh, pulling kind of hard up this hill right here. We're going all of four miles an hour right now. And this is, I mean, this is a steep-ish hill, but it's not that steep. So, we, uh, we haven't done a lot on hilly terrain, uh, recently, and I always forget how much more horsepower you need on a tractor when the terrain gets pretty hilly. I mean, this is a pretty decent hill. I'd kind of expect this tractor to be pulling this up the hill a little bit better than this, though, because, uh, I think this is, what, a 250 horse tractor? And, uh, this implement is supposedly rated at 200 horse. But, uh, that said, you know, I'm not always 100% confident in the displayed horsepower ratings on mods. I know there's a lot more to it behind the scenes, so. Um, I'm not too worried, though, because a lot of this is going to be downhill on this side. Um, so the steepest part, it looks like we're going to be able to do just fine coming down this hill. And we'll see what it looks like when we get to the far end there and try and go up the more uh, gradual part. I guess we can always try and do side hill. Um, I would just prefer to uh, do this field the long way if we can. It looks like uh, the slant is only for this little bit down here by the road, so... Maybe we take uh, two, three headland passes off here by the road um, just to avoid coming down the super steep part every time. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, whip right back around here, I think. And uh, we might do this one more time here just to give ourselves plenty of room to turn around. Because uh, as you can see, I was already uh, bumping into this fence just a little bit. And I'm uh, worried about uh, crashing into it here, so we might uh, we might do the full three passes here just to give us that little bit of extra turning room. 
Alright, with a nice thick headland uh, done up here, I think we're going to try and get going on the long rows here. Now, I am expecting this to go a little bit slow on this part here, but maybe uh, I was hoping for a little bit faster than this. Uh, this is going to be a struggle. We might just need to go back and forth on the side hill if it's going to be uh, two miles an hour. I don't think we can handle uh, two miles an hour here. We're going to do the one headland pass here, and then we'll, uh, we're will we just going to get going the other way because this will take all day. I'm not sure four miles an hour is that much of an improvement over two, but we seem to be picking up speed as we go, so I'm going to go ahead and do an AB line here on the GPS and we're gonna run with it because I don't think we're gonna get any better and uh, I honestly think it would take longer to uh, turn her around and go back and get the slightly larger tractor and I'm honestly not sure that it would do that much uh, better of a job as it's only what 20 horse or so more than this so it does have the front wheel assist though, which might be uh, helpful. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna do this and definitely think twice before we buy any super hilly fields, as uh, obviously we're gonna need a little bit more horsepower to accommodate the hilly terrain on this map, which is fine. There is some awesome. Uh, case mods that uh, I would love to upgrade into over time. Having the money to do so is going to be the struggle of this series. But it's nice to have something to uh, look forward to, something to work towards. So we're definitely looking forward to that. Alright, so that is a uh, contract done. I'm not sure the uh, job was worth the fuel and time it costs to drive over here but it's another thousand dollars in the wallet so I guess I won't complain that was a really cool shadow from the plane flying above and uh, I have stopped time because it's getting later in the afternoon and I realize there is a job on the farm that we need to do uh, we can spray herbicide on our uh, wheat and alfalfa fields and so we are going to go ahead and uh, head back up to the farm here and get our sprayer hooked up and uh, do a little bit of spraying on those two smaller fields. I think it's going to go really fast because we've got a uh, decent sized three point mounted sprayer. Uh, I think we've got the hardy base game sprayer. And so we're going to go ahead and use that to knock out that spraying real quick. And it'll be easier to do now while the crops are uh, just having come up a little bit. Uh, once they get a little bit bigger, uh, it's harder to see where we've sprayed, especially for herbicide. And we completely missed our driveway, so we're gonna turn around and get back in here. Alright, we've got the uh, sprayer all hooked up here. And we're just filling it up with some herbicide real quick. It looks like we'll hold a little bit more than one full tank, but I'm going to just uh, leave it at one tank here. I don't think we're going to use all of this on those two small fields, and so uh, it'll be easier if we need to switch this out to something else down the road here to just have uh, one of those uh, herbicide containers in here. We do have another in the shed if we need it. And it's just a short hike down here to our two fields. There is traffic moving ahead of us. It's, uh, I like that the traffic is a little bit more sparse uh, on these back roads, especially. I think there were more cars on like the main interstate freeway going into town. And so that's a nice touch that uh, traffic seems appropriately laid out based on uh, which part of the map you're on. Now, I can see we've already got a few uh, weeds here in our alfalfa field, and so that'll be a, a good test to make sure all of this is uh, operating correctly. I don't recall just how wide this sprayer is, so we're going to go ahead and open her up here and then get lined up to do our field rows. Oh, look at that. I'm pretty much spot on. Um... Uh, 
I do want to uh, maybe figure out how to get down here just a little bit more so I can line up and get GPS working, I think. So we're going to do this. We've got GPS turned on, so away we go. We are going to grab a AB track, and I forgot this is the uh, version of this mod that I haven't edited yet. Um, I've edited one of these to go faster, like American Speed Spraying, which, you know, for something like this, I would expect it to be going maybe, uh, I don't know, 12 to 15 miles an hour, maybe even a little faster, but I remember spraying it around 12 to 15 miles an hour, depending on the conditions, so that's something we might edit for uh, next time we need to use this, but... Like I said before, these are some pretty small fields, so I don't think we really need to worry about it too much here. And uh, I do like with seasons that uh, you don't destroy crops when you drive on them in the early stage here. And so that's one of the main reasons why I'm also out here uh, getting our spraying in. The crops are for the most part going to just bounce back after this. So we're going to just uh, whip around here and take care of this last little stretch and the little bit that we missed in that alfalfa field. I'm not too worried about the couple of feet we're missing on the edge up there in the corner. We're going to just live with, uh, I think, missing that little bit from a, a herbicide perspective. If uh, the weeds decide that that's the one spot in this field they're going to end up growing after we're done spraying here, then you know what? So be it. So this is uh, not going to take very many passes at this rate. Uh, I think this is a great little sprayer for our uh, small farm. And we'll also be able to go knock out our uh, soybeans and corn a little bit later here once we actually get corn planted. Uh, I think I want to wait for the soybeans to actually pop up here before we go and spray the uh, uh, additional round of herbicide there on that field. So, you know, I think that... Uh, our next jobs here are really waiting until we can plant the corn and then uh, we'll come back and spray our soybeans and our corn after that and then uh, hopefully some sometime shortly after that this alfalfa is going to be ready to uh, get its first cutting in so we're going to be figuring out how that's going to work as well here I've been playing with alfalfa a little bit on the Royalton series, so I think I've sorted out a good chunk of how that works. And it looks like this pass is going to finish us off on spraying the wheat. And then we'll probably just have one more pass on the alfalfa field there. We'll find out in just a moment. And as you can see here to our left, we did uh, kill off that uh, patch of weeds. So everything seems to be working A-OK -okay here. And we're not quite going to finish this off with this pass, but at least we'll end up on the correct side of the field to head back up to the farm right after we're finished here, which is uh, okay by me. And uh, as we're sitting here looking at this barn, I'm just super tempted to try out some sheep. I haven't done sheep in forever, and uh, I'm not really sure what animals are... Uh, grown in or uh raised i guess maybe is a better word in uh upstate new york but for some reason or another i feel like sheep would be an appropriate uh, uh animal to have in pasture areas in uh the kind of the hilly terrain here in upstate new york so maybe we'll try some sheep out a little bit later in this series uh, once we get our alfalfa going i've got to uh assume that they're gonna be able to uh, eat the alfalfa hay uh, maybe it's just grass though that they can do so we'll have to play around with that a little bit and see uh, if that's something we want to get into if that's something you'd be interested in seeing at some point in this series please uh, drop a comment below and let me know and uh, with that I think we've got all of our uh, spraying done here for the time being and uh, we're going to bring this up to the farm here. And then I do want to just run out into the soybean field here and take a quick look and see where that field is at. And so we can see here it is uh, germinated as soybeans. It's at 0% growth. Nothing's come up yet. 
But if we look at the map, it's not just the yellow planted state anymore. It is in this initial state of growth. So, um, you know, I think things are going well here. It seems to know that it's supposed to be soybeans. So we just got to wait a couple of days here probably for that to pop up. So with that, I think this is going to be a good spot to wrap up today's episode. We have done quite a bit of uh, little jobs here. We got our initial spraying done on about half of the farm. We've fed our cows and uh, we did a contract to uh, keep just a little bit of money flowing into the bank account. So with that, I think we'll wrap things up. And then tomorrow, hopefully we'll be diving into planting corn and seeing what else comes our way. That's all for today. Kedrick, out. And uh, I am checking for traffic because there is a fair amount of traffic. Oh, come on. I look to the monitor for one second and I wrap myself around a double bumble. Come on, get off the pole. Ridiculous.